Right on the top of the head stamp, you can see the number is 188. That's the factory number. That's uh, the same factory producing 7N1. On the bottom. Ready? Yeah. Hit. Nice square hit, right? Yeah, right in the heart there. Left side, or right side of our chest from our perspective. Yeah. Hit. A lot of people sneer at the accuracy of the Mosin Nagant rifles, and I think maybe one of the big reasons for that is there's a lot of bad ammo out there. Um, some of the stuff, some of the toll, some of the wolf, and even some of the military stuff uh, wasn't real good for precision purposes. Um, there is some good ammo out there. There's some better stuff. There's some of the silver tip made in Russia in Factory 188. That's pretty good. Some of the Czech stuff shoots real good. And, of course, if you're looking for a target shooting ammo, you're going to probably want to try to find some 7N1, and that's made in Factory 188 as well. So the accuracy of the rifle is basically limited mainly by the ammunition you're shooting. So yeah. if your Mosin isn't shooting good and you check your bore and it's not been Hit. completely destroyed, Hit. it should shoot pretty good, yeah, pretty good provided you have some decent ammo. Alright, so the top of that head stamp you can see is 188. And if you were to flip it around here on the bottom, you will see 75. That's the year of manufacture. And of course, as you can tell, these are silver tips. Okay? And the silver tips are the steel core light ball ammo. Now, if you're looking at a tin of this stuff, this is in the crate. You can tell by the markings on the tin. Uh, when you open up the wood crate, you'll have this insert that's designating uh, some of the manufacturer info there. But here on the tin, you have 7.62. Obviously, that's 7.62 millimeter. This is the bullet type. This is a steel core light ball. And of course, this language is Cyrillic. This is Russian, you know, so it's not going to be in English. And this is the uh, case type here. And in this case, it's a steel case uh, copper wash. Down here, you're going to have the cartridge lot series and number right here. And this is going to be the cartridge production year, 1975. The factory number, 188. That's the same factory as the 7N1. Uh, so this ammo is really good uh, as far as its uh, accuracy. It's not going to be quite as good as the 7N1, but this is... Um, pretty close. And, and you can see the silver paint on there. That's basically the, the bullet tip color code. So that's matching it to these the silver tips, silver painted on the can. So if you're looking at a can that's painted silver there, that's what that's talking about. Over here, you can see the powder type is right here. This top number of the fraction is your powder lot number. And down here is your powder production year. So the powder was made in 75 as well. And of course, uh, here's your powder source code. And your round count, how much, 440 rounds in a tin. And you'll have similar markings on the side of the box here. And we have the silver stripe indicating it's going to be the silver tip ammo. This is actually pretty good ammo. If you can't find the 7N1, uh, look for the 188 factory. 
and the silver tip, that's pretty good stuff. This flies pretty straight compared to some of the other stuff. This is not junk ammo. It's not going to be your precision quality ammo that you might need for if you're going to do competition type stuff with your Mosin. Uh, but it's going to be all right. So if you are on the hunt for the true 7N1 ammo, uh, here's what the cartridge is going to look like. There's no marking on the tip. It's going to look very similar to some of the other standard steel core rounds. However, the head stamp will be designated 188 as well. That's the factory number again. And uh, a lot of this stuff is manufactured in 97. Seems like we got a lot of it from 1997. But uh, there's the 188 on the head stamp and then the year will be below that. But the dead giveaway on this stuff is when it's packaged in its paper, it's going to be labeled Snipe Better Skate. Sniper. And that's uh, written in Cyrillic. Snipe Better Skate. Snipe Better Skate. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's my best guess. So if you're looking for 7N1 and you have it in the paper packs, it's going to have that written on there. And that's going to be your best shooting ammo for the 7.62 by 54 millimeters.